Welcome to this video from the McCoy Publishing Library. I'm Steve McCall. Today we're taking a look at a classic from the McCoy Library, The Second Mile, Illustrations and Explanations for Study Clubs of the Order of the Eastern Star by Sarah Terry, written in 1935 and published by McCoy in 1963. Born in Indiana, Sarah Terry was a member of the Clarkson Chapter No. 12 in Kentucky before being elected Worthy Grand Matron in 1906. After leaving the Grandees, she served as the Grand Secretary of the State Grand Chapter until her death in 1941. In between, she raised four children and pursued a successful career as a writer, quickly earning a place among the most accomplished brothers and sisters of the OES. The second mile was written as an aid to the study of the adoptive right, a subject that was and remains a deep interest to the order. Then, as now, members wrestle with how to effectively present the great treasures contained within the right, just as they struggle against taking the easy road. The author summed it up this way, quote, the reason of failure of all ritualism is because they cling to too much dogma or tabulation rather than to the deeper mysteries or the spiritual side. A close study, therefore, is commendable and well worthy of our time. The demand of the hour is not the idea that a mere recitation of the ritual is all there is to the order, but to know what the ritual is and what it really means and to create a feeling for the beautiful teachings and the ritual portrays. The symbolic meaning of the various lessons is beautiful and should be studied by all of those who are privileged to become members of the order." Unquote. Written during the high water of the OES, the book appeals to today's readers both as a guide to increasing ritualistic knowledge, the points Terry presents re remain valid and insightful, as well as a window into the world of the order 80 years ago. Throughout the book, the reader is treated to the author's deep understanding of OES symbolism and history that are revealed in clear and easy, un easily understood passages. Here's an excerpt from chapter four about Esther. The book of Esther contains but 10 chapters and may be, reading at one, may be read at one sitting. To obtain all the leading facts of this lesson, one must read not only the entire 10 chapters, but fit the events told therein with ancient history. But our lesson to be learned is plain. We sometimes see people elected or elevated to positions of honor who soon become so puffed up over their elevation that they forget their friends, forget the circumstances previous to the elevation, and thus become arrogant and unthankful and often domineering, utterly without discretion and without the natural qualities necessary for positions of high esteem. Such persons are unfitted for positions of honor and reflect upon whatever position they may hold much discredit both to themselves and to their friends. Esther was not so. Her head was not turned. She wore the crown and becomingness of a queen and when called upon was equal to the occasion. Even though it meant perhaps the stripping away of all that had placed her in the exalted position. The second mile is a comprehensive look at OES ritual study, providing a wealth of background information for the novice or the old hand. The author discusses the ritualistic foundations of the five heroines of the order in great detail, as well as exploring other more esoteric symbolism in separate chapters, including sections on the meanings of found in numbers, flowers, gems, and colors. Included also are chapter on officers and suggested questions for further ritualistic development. The standard study guide for OES work for nearly a century, the second mile is a must-have book for any student of ritual, as well as those aspiring to be officers. Written and delivered in a thorough and comprehensive manner, this book will open your eyes to the deepness and richness of the adoptive rite. The second mile is the study guide for the Order of the Eastern Star. Although written in the 1930s, it continues to provide clarification and inspiration. And McCoy has kept this classic in print, and it continues to be one of our best sellers. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's book highlight. And as always, I'm Steve McCall. Stay safe, stay on the level.